Dr. Vladimir Alexa, hello, good morning. Good morning. So, Dr. Alexa, how did you carry out uh, such a complicated uh, project mass testing for all the population? So the idea of the mass testing somehow uh, this appeared three weeks ago when our primer minister came from Brussels with this idea uh, that we had no discussions before it. Uh, so the, the professionals and immunologists, epidemiologists did not discuss this idea before. It just came like a, uh, from a blue sky mm -hmm. without any preparations. Uh, but then it was, we had once uh, a pilot uh, testing in three uh, districts with the with the highest occurrence of infections. Yes. And then the next week there was a first round of the mass testing. Uh, around three millions, mm -hmm. more than three millions people were tested. And one week uh, later, so that was last week, uh, two million. Yes, Doctor Exa. So five million so far. What are you trying to achieve uh, with the mass uh, testing? So the idea uh, behind it is to somehow prevent the uh, the, the further uh, further spreading of infection in Slovakia and somehow to 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 slow the infection. Uh, but uh, there is big question if if the mass uh, testing. Uh, somehow done or performed with this test, which which was used, which yeah. is not so much reliable, will will really uh, come to ach to this achievement. Some people so uh, criticize the the rapid uh, test you took. Yes, yes, I also criticized it because this rapid test uh, that is uh, this is not a PCR. These are not a PCR test. These are uh, antigen. Yes. Test. So it means that it is somehow based on the binding of antibody to, to, to viral antigen. And they are not very much reliable. They are fast, that's true, but uh, they are not reliable and uh, they, are, they are good and they are very, they can be very instrumental in fast testing, mm. for example, in hospitals. Yes. So what happens, Dr. Alexa, if someone resists to take the test? So... Uh, in principle, the, the testing was somehow voluntary, but in reality, uh, people who resist to be tested, uh, they were quite a high and strict district, uh, restrictions for them because, for example, they could not go out at all. They could not go to work. Only what they can do is to, to go around uh, 100 meters to, to, to buy something, the, the foods, so in many, many, many people were somehow forced to, to, to be tested. Yes. So what, and what is the purpose, what is the next step to uh, carry out uh, this uh, testing once a week, once a month? It is very difficult to assess with, with our somehow government because they are, <laughs> they are coming uh, nearly every day with new ideas. Uh, so it is very difficult, but now the new idea is somehow to use these rapid tests, exactly that what I told in hospitals. What I see as the most important is to, to, to do testing, to do tests, and but to to diversify to to make a diversification mm. of the tests. So yeah. it means to use more types of tests, exactly something like uh, now it's done in, in Great Britain, in yeah. Liverpool. So they are, they, are, they are using three different tests and then they Not compare Not only with the it. antigen uh, rapid test. Okay, Dr. Yeah. Vladimir Lexa, thank you so much for this interview. Okay, bye.